Hi guys, welcome to my channel Let's Design Engineer. So, in this video, I am going to explain you about the introduction of the CATIA. Before going to the CATIA software, first we should know what is CATIA and its definition and in CATIA what we are going to do. Okay, let's go into the slide one. CATIA. Why we got a name CATIA to this software? So let's see the abbreviation of the CATIA. Computer Aided Three Dimensional Interactive Application, which is nothing but in this abbreviation itself we will find the definition of the CATIA. Here we can see, well, I mean we can draw a three dimensional di diagram by interacting with an application. This application is nothing but a CATIA, which is aided by a computer. Okay, the three dimensional diagram is drawn by interacting with an application that is aided by a computer. Okay, this is almost the definition of the CATIA. And this CATIA is a high end tool for CAT, CAM, and CAE companies, IT companies, Infotech, Tech Mahindra, and all. Those companies will use CATIA as a design software and some of the companies will use as a manufacturing software and some of the company and some of the companies will also use for computational problems okay and this CATIA is developed by Dazzle Systems this company belongs to the France and CATIA V5 is mostly used in companies which allows flexibility of using future based and parametric design in my first video, I explain what is a parametric and non-parametric and uh, in this video also I will be explaining what is future based and what is parametric design also and uh, in this category we will be having a workbench definition of the workbench workbench is a specified environment consisting of a set of tools which is nothing but which allows the user to perform the specific design tasks in a particular area the basic workbenches available in CATIA V5 are part design workbench wireframe workbench surface workbench assembly and drafting workbench and these are the primary workbenches which we will be using in the CATIA software let's go one by one part design workbench this is a parametric and future based environment in which you can create a solid models. First of all, to create a solid model, we should need a sketch. I mean, solid model is nothing but a three dimensional diagram. Am I right? So, in the, if you want to create a three dimensional diagram or else a thickness to a diagram, first we need to, we, we need to sketch. So, before going to the part workbench, there, there is a, another uh, primary workbench which is sketcher module so in this sketcher module there will be a tools by using those tools we can draw a 2d diagram by using that that 2d diagram we can convert that 2d diagram into a 3d diagram in this part design workbench i will be explaining part design workbench and sketcher work workbench when we enter to the CATIA software in detail okay the next thing is sketch is a basic requirement as I have explained, sketches uh, 2D diagram is a basic requirement, and uh, you can see this figure, right? This is just a sample diagram. Uh, we can create uh, uh, 3D models in this workbench, and this is an example. Assembly design workbench. Okay, all same. But those uh, in part design, we can just create a 3D model. In wireframe workbench, we can create a wireframe models. In surface design workbench, we can we can create a surf, surface models. That's it. But uh, but the tools will be changed according to the requirements. If you want to create a surface model, so you you should go to the surface workbench. There you will find the different tools to create a surface models. As same as a wireframe. And here we have a assembly design workbench. This is used to assemble the components using the assembly constraints which are available in the workbench. Assembly is nothing but, for example, let us take a pen as a model. So, we can't draw total pen in a part design itself. We will be having uh, 4 to 5 parts in a pen. 
for example uh, a cap a refill a nib a body of a, a pen so we will divide the total body into five parts so in this part module we will be drawing five parts differently and we will go to the assembly workbench and we will assemble total parts into one part and we will make a complete part in this assemble design workbench and in this assemble design workbench we will be having two types bottom up top down bottom up is nothing but amateur guys bottom up type is a very very easy one than if you compare to the top down type bottom up type is as i explained as a pen top down type is in the assembly workbench itself we can create i mean we can create total parts and we can uh, we can assemble them in there itself so uh, it's just little difficult uh, should contain design intent design intent example if i take a pen the caps in the inner diameter should be equal to the body's outer diameter in such a way itself only the cap will fit into the body am i right so the design intent should be needed if you want to draw if you work bunch itself so in in the catia software i'll be explaining both that bottom up and top down top down also so according to your uh, according to your practice and according and according to your knowledge you can uh, you can choose bottom up or top down and it depends on you and next is a drafting workbench this drafting workbench is used for the documentation of parts or the assemblies created earlier in the form of drawing views and their detailing the two types and directly convert that component that assemble component into a drafting by this generative drafting method and we have another one interactive drafting method and here we can create a drafting views by sketching itself we will be having uh, tools in this drafting workbench also and by using this drafting workbench itself you can draw a diagram according to your needs okay and some of the system requirements which uh, which will be needed uh, for installing the catia win after also so let's get started get inside to the catia software so yeah. See you in the next video.